what you see here is Wireshark with my packet capture loaded. Now, this packet capture does not just have Teredo traffic, it has other traffic as well. In order to really isolate it, we first have to remove, for example, the SSH traffic and the DNS traffic. One easy way to do so in Wireshark is we, first of all, really just want to get UDP traffic and then we do not want DNS traffic. All Teredo traffic is UDP and uh, then one of the big UDP components that we have here that's not uh, Teredo is DNS. So let's see what we get out of this once we apply this filter. And well, we see here right away there is Terrator traffic and well, then some other UDP traffic. So let's take a look here at this UDP traffic. Uh, this UDP traffic, if we look at the datagram at the payload, we do see this actually 6.0 and then 2001. Oh, 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 so uh, this is really Teredo traffic, but Wireshark doesn't recognize it as Teredo traffic. Question now is how do we actually manage to get Wireshark to analyze this as Teredo? The quick trick here is we just uh, use the decode as feature in Wireshark. And then, well, source port, and we probably want to do source and destination port, so uh, both ports. And let me just uh, select Teredo here from this drop down menu. Let me find Teredo and apply. Close, and we see it's now recognized as Teredo, and Wireshark is actually able to decode the UDP payload. So why was it not able to decode that right away? Well, the problem is that Teredo really happens as a two-stage process. Here, uh, the first part which Wireshark was able to recognize was uh, the setup of the connection, and it uses the default Teredo port 3544. So this is why Wireshark was able to recognize it. However, beyond uh, this initial setup, What's happening is that Teredo is negotiating a connection with a Teredo relay and that no longer uses the default port. So my host first connects to the Teredo server using Teredo's default port. Wireshark is fine with that, but uh, going forward, Teredo then uses the Teredo relay on a different port, and that's where Wireshark stops. So here we have the setup going to Teredo port 3544, and then we go to the next packet. We have the connection coming back, coming from our Teredo server 83170676. But then it switches to Teredo relay, and that's here. 216-66-222 and that was negotiated during that initial setup and here we have the port that's now going to be used 3545 so it's not the default Teredo port 3544. Now let's see how Wireshark actually decodes the traffic. Here we have an echo ping request. So let's see what it looks like. And in order to actually analyze this, let me just uh, make the other windows here really small and focus in on Wireshark's sort of uh, decode of the packet. Teredo is really UDP as far as IPv4 is concerned. So we do have a UDP packet that just happens to include as payload the Teredo traffic. Now, the UDP header itself is of course all normal. We do have a source port, a destination port. We do have a UDP length and then we do have a checksum. Now, the payload itself is just an IPv6 packet. Really nothing all that special about it. So let me scroll down here so we see this a little bit better. 
Starts out with our IP version 6, that's really just the first uh, digit, so uh, Wireshark here highlights both, it's really just the 6. Then we do have our traffic class and our flow label, that's all 0 in this case. Our payload length, now that's the IPv6 payload length, is 64. So our UDP length earlier also included the UDP header and the IPv6 header, which is not included in this payload length. Then we do have our next header. We have a ICMP echo request. So uh, this is uh, really just ICMPv6 or 3A. Then we do have our hop limit, which is 64. Next, we do have our source and our client address. Now, for Teredo, within the IPv6 address, we actually have embedded the publicly routable IPv4 addresses of both endpoints. So here for the Teredo server, that's the Teredo server's uh, IPv6 IPv4 address, then we have uh, the Teredo source port, and then we have the Teredo client's IPv4 address. So this is the Teredo client's port and the Teredo client's IPv4 address. Essentially, this UDP packet, as far as the server is concerned, came from this source port and this IPv4 address. That's of course different than the IPv4 address and source that we saw behind the firewall when we looked at the UDP header earlier. Okay, so this is again our destination IP address. And then we have our ICMP header, ICMPv6. So our ICMPv6 type is 128. Our code is zero and it is always zero in IPv6. We have checksum sequence and then we sort of have our kind of standard sort of uh, numeric incrementing ICMP echo request payload. So in short, Wireshark is really able to tell us a lot about Teredo traffic. All we have to do is we have to use the code as and uh, then tell it, hey, uh, this particular traffic, and we should use both, so we get source and destination, happens to be Teredo. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please write in my email address, jolrich at sans.edu. Thanks and bye.